Thanks so much for my admission. It's not good. I am Johnny, I'm Ashley's husband, uh, and I'm here with uh, Neil, um, as he's been the one who's been interrupting my time with Jesus every morning, which is um, amazing. And I wanted to tell you a little bit about my um, daily devotional time, which I think is one of the most important times of my day. Um, I don't think, and even though I fall short, I don't think I'll be able to... Um, love Ashley um, and love people and, and even do my ministry effectively um, if it wasn't for this time here in this corner. Uh, this is my desk. I've been having this desk for the past three years and I mentioned that uh, because this has been the place that God has used for me to spend intentional time with them. And, and I think, if anything, one of the effectiveness of your devotional times uh, is consistency. Uh, and if you know anything about me, is that I love my routine. In fact, in the video, uh, you see that I am making a pour over, which is something that I've been getting into for the past few months. Um, and, I ha and, and it has become a ritual for me, a sacred ritual. I do it the same time, the same way. And, and I love doing that, one, because I'm never going back to uh, K-Cups, the Keurig, even though it's so easy. This is amazing coffee, and, and I love having my cup of coffee every morning. Uh, and I just wanted to encourage you with, with your quiet time when you see the method that I use, all the things that I do, and you could be become insecure and think like, well, I don't think I can measure up to that, or I don't think I can wake up at this time. Uh, there are days that I more perfect than others. For instance, uh, today wasn't the most perfect day, uh, especially because the cat is making noises and running all over the place and it's really distracting. Uh, and also, uh, it's kind of distracting when you have a camera uh, following you as you're doing all these things. Uh, but but this is some of the things that I like to do. I like to wake up early. I usually do I start my day with prayer. I start praying. I love grabbing my Bible. I don't I don't idolize this book, uh, but I do believe this is the God's highest or, or our highest authority of that is God's war for us to live every day. And, and so what I do, I grab it, uh, I kind of hug it, and uh, I just pray. I pray that God uh, would speak to me through His Word. 
um, and that I will be able to discern what he wants me to do as, as I study his word. And um, if, if you're familiar with different Bible translations, I use the NASB. And I found that it's a little bit hard to read because of certain words. But um, because of my Greek teacher, I really start studying more of this uh, translation. Uh, because it's the closest to the original text and it helps me with certain words and as I study uh, the Bible and what I do is I read through the text usually I twice. I wanted to pause the video here to say that the Hollow app is sponsoring today's video. If you have not heard of the Hollow app, it is the number one Christian prayer app for prayer in the U.S. today and it is the number one Catholic app in the world. This app is an amazing resource for anyone who puts their hope and faith in Jesus. Any Christians or Catholics who are seeking to pursue a deeper relationship with the Lord through so prayer. So Hollow has over 5,000 audio guided prayers and meditations. You just click on the prayer or the meditation that you want to listen to for that morning or for that evening or during the day. And then you just put your headphones in, you close your eyes, you breathe, you relax. And as I was even doing this app, it was reading scripture to me and it was helping me to meditate and think about what does that scripture mean to me in my own life and how is it going to transform my life? If you use a special link, I have it linked in the description, you will get a special discount offer of three months free trial and you can listen to anything they have on the app. You can get into any of the meditations, any of the prayers. I am so, so thankful that I'm partnering with Hollow and I hope you guys enjoy Hollow just um, I used to do a quiet time, a, a booklet and follow that, but then I, I realized that I was not getting a lot out of that. And so what I did, I bought a journal where I, I just journal my thoughts and, and it helps because if you saw my iPad, I have a commentary uh, which I like to uh, see what other people, which other scholars, other theologians have thought about those certain verses. And what I do, I just grab my journal. I kind of go verse by verse, and if, the, if I want to go deeper into the text, deeper into a certain word, I do a word study, and so on and so forth. And uh, for the past few months, I've been studying the book of Matthew. Um, it's a challenging book for me, uh, especially because the audience of the book of uh, Matthew are Jewish people, and so there's a lot um, of Jewish language here. But it's been refreshing for me. Uh, it's been months, and I'm in chapter 15, so I have a long way to go. Uh, but my goal is to go through the Gospels for the next few months and years and, and go deep into the life and ministry of Jesus. So today I was challenging uh, to read about Matthew 15. I was studying verses 29 to 31. And I like doing that. And so that's my routine. Uh, it, every single thing that I do is kind of sacred. It's become a ritual. Uh, and I need to make sure that it doesn't become a habit. Uh, it's just the, uh, something that I do out of a habit just to uh, mark it or, or kind of check the box, but rather a genuine desire to spend in God's word, to taste and see the goodness of God as the psalmist says. Um, and, and it has been refreshing for me. And I, I firmly believe whether you do it in the morning, whether you do it uh, in the middle of the day, or whether you end your day reading God's, script, uh, God's word, I want to encourage you to do it. It's one of the most, the sweetest and most important parts of my day. Uh, kind of everything else that I do throughout the day um, or, or how I start my morning will impact the way I live throughout my day. Uh, and again, it's not perfect. Uh, it's not that I wake up at, uh, really early every, every morning uh, or I'm, that I'm really disciplined. There are days that I'm better than others. Uh, there are days that I have less time to do my quiet time because I had to head to the office. Um, it's not perfect. Um, but I firmly believe that a few minutes with God is better than no minutes with God. And that's what I do. Uh, I, I really sit down. This is kind of my sacred corner. I sit down here, I pray, I pour my heart out to God. And so if anything, consistency is key uh, to kind of effective uh, quiet time with Jesus. And as you can see on my desk, I have a school. And you might be wondering, uh, who is this person? How, how did he die? Um, it's actually an Etsy school, it's fake. Uh, but I was really challenged by the practice of some ancient monks. And so one, something about some monks is that they were kind of weird, but a lot of them were really devoted to Jesus. 
And so if you see really all monastic paintings, they're gonna, you're gonna see three things in their desk or in this picture. You're gonna see a monk praying and there's gonna be maybe a Bible, there's gonna be a candle and there's gonna be a skull. And it's not just this Etsy beautiful uh, glamorous skull, it was actually the roommate probably who had died five years ago and, and it's a real skull uh, and not because of a morbid or weird reason uh, but rather um, because they wanted to uh, remember their death. They want to remember that hey some someday I'm gonna die and the way I live today uh, should matter. The, the decisions that I make today uh, should impact the way um, I live and so I always have a skull to remind myself that hey someday I'm gonna die and so the way I live my life matters. Uh, the, the decisions I make, the things that I think about, the way I behave uh, matters. And so um, there's a Latin word that it's uh, memento mori, which means remember your death. Hey, we're all gonna die. So that's kind of a, a reminder that I have on my desk every single morning as I'm sipping my good cup of coffee and I'm spending time with Jesus. And really, I'm just pouring out my heart to Him. I'm studying His Word uh, and it's not perfect. Every day I fall short. You can just ask Ashley. Every day I fall short. And um, but it's a way to start my day uh, in the Bible with this little guy here who interrupts my time. So I hope you enjoy this thing and I hope that you are in challenge, uh, that you are challenged to, to spend intentional time with Jesus every single day because whether you do it in a desk, on your couch, on your bed, which I do not recommend because you're going to fall asleep, but wherever you do it, God is going to meet you there. He's going to transform your life. He's going to transform your mind uh, so that you would become the man and the woman that He has created you to be. So continue. Uh, be steadfast in the work of the Lord, knowing that nothing that you do is in vain. What does it mean to have a sacred ritual? I feel like that sounds very mystical and spiritual, but people won't know what that means. You said that your routine has become sacred rituals. Like, What does that actually mean? So when I use that language, uh, all I'm saying is that uh, it's become a time that is protected uh, and, and sacred that is just holy. Uh, it's, it's become a ritual because it's a consistent pattern uh, and, and a habit that I, that I do of praying, spending time in the Word, making coffee. Uh, but I have added, when I say it's a ritual, a sacred ritual, is that I have added an extra spiritual um, meaning to it. Whether you're making coffee, you can spend time with the Lord. I usually like to either um, just listen to the sound of coffee and and kind of worship the Lord in that moment uh, pray to him sometimes as you maybe saw in the video I was listening to a podcast or or to a reading a book I'm reading mere Christianity by CS Lewis so every aspect of your day whether you're reading the Bible making coffee doing the dishes is for the glory of God um, and I remember there's a, a monk uh, his name was brother Lawrence and Brother Lawrence was a guy who loved doing everything for the glory of God. He would wash dishes and, and be like, man, I'm just going to spend intentional time with Jesus while I'm, make, while I'm cleaning the floors, while I'm doing the dishes. And so that's what I mean. It's a ritual. It's a sacred ritual that I add some spiritual value to that certain activity that I am doing. Hey guys, so I just wanted to close out the video here. I hope that you were encouraged just as much as I was with Johnny's quiet time routine and I just pray that it would be a huge blessing to you um, as it was to me. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe if you want to join the family and also remember that we have a website, we have a bunch of free resources, we have a bunch of resources that you can pay for such as the prayer journals and Bible studies to grow deeper in your relationship with God, to learn how to study the Bible, everything like that. So go check out coffeeandbibletime.com and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Say bye.